Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Weapons of H3DR. Today we're going to take a look at one shotgun, the DT-11. So, this is going to be another short episode since there isn't much to say about this one. Except, it's big, it's a very long shotgun, as you can see. Can't get it all in frame at once. Well, I can't see it all at once, maybe you can see in the video. It is... Uh, Top and below barrel instead of side by side. This is a hunting shotgun. This is a Beretta, I believe. DT11. 12 gauge shotguns, like most shotguns in this game, with uh, just one exception, I think. So, yeah, it's a shotgun made for sporting. We have two air variants, which we'll take a look in a second. The sides, just like all shotguns, is basically rubbish. And it's brake action. So, uh, pretty easy to use. Can easily get it on target. Though. People underestimate the shotgun accuracy in real life. Or in games. So, uh, that's the DT-11. It's often used for skeet shooting, you know, where they pull, boom, boom. You know, that one. It is a nice looking shotgun though, it's just doesn't have a lot of history. And apparently it's very back heavy. Extremely back heavy. Next up, we have this variant. It's the cut off variant. Literally cut off the stock, cut off a bunch of the barrel. So this should be a lot less accurate, but it's a lot handier to use. I don't know how many shots we even used on that previous one. Did we shoot two sets? Yeah. As you can see, the spread is a lot bigger. And then we have this one, which is just cut down. It still has the stock, but removes a bunch of the barrel. Makes it a lot shorter. Also doesn't have that great spread. Let's redo this one to just confirm the spread. Okay, cool. Uh, that's reset. We're only going to do two of them. Yeah, a lot more, a, a lot less spread. So yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for the DT-11, I think. There isn't much to say about it, I am sorry to say. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this short little video on the DT-11. Please leave a like, subscribe and all of that. Be sure to vote for the gun for uh, next month's guns in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!